Good morning, cyber friends. It's Mitty Man here, and uh, we want to say we give God all the praise, give Him all the glory, and we thank Him for as well as live for life, health, and strength. And we will say Happy New Year. Um, I normally would have already done this here, but this is what I always call been doing it now for quite some time. Since I've been so visible on the internet, in other words, with the Bible study, I don't have a whole lot of following, but I do have a few people that do uh, check out what I do. And I've been giving this here what I call my Mitty Man's New Year address. And this is my 217, 2017 address as I see fit. First of all, we want to give uh, praise and honor to all the cyber friends. You know who you are, those that have been following me for quite some time. And we are we are very, very appreciative. And we love you, each and every one of you. But right now, people, Mitty Man's got to go back and get very, very serious with you now. Because I mean every word that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak in the next few minutes. We, and this, like I said, this is what I see in 2017. And I'm asking for people of like minds to... to not necessarily to agree with me. You may not agree with nothing I say, but just consider what I say at this particular moment in time. People, when, if you haven't found anything that you would die for, then you're not fit to live. Let me say that again. If you have not found anything that you are willing to die for, then you're not fit to live. That sounds like a strong statement because it is. It is, people. I was in the military a short while because of some things I was involved in. And matter of fact, hardship cut my career in the military very, very short, as well as my problem with alcohol. I had a problem with alcohol. And therefore, my, that cut my career in the military very, very short. But it was one thing that I did learn while in the military, that there are some things even more precious than life itself. And that is standing up for what you believe in, for what is right. People, let me, let me tell you something. Now, I know some things that I'm about to say that might going to put me in a very, very bad light with a lot of people. A lot of people, but I'm not trying to do that. And I'm not going to sit here and say I don't care about that because I do. But I must speak in what I feel within my own self, in my own heart, what is the truth. We, for the last eight years, we had uh, President Obama, the Democrats, the Democratic Party had had the, the White House. And uh, matter of fact, uh, President Obama had tried to do some things and he was cut under, he was undercut and he was, you know, all of the other stuff and whatnot. But I'm not here to, to, to I'm not here to put President Obama up or down. I can't do that in a way. President Obama's administration is over. Well, he's in the lame duck session right now. He's in the lame duck period and in, in about what this is the January third. In seventeen days, this thing is gonna change hands. Let me talk to everybody, white and the black, everybody, Hispanics, everybody that comes, is in the United States, call themselves a United States citizen. Let me, let me seek and I plead with y'all a minute. Those of you that didn't like Trump, got those that didn't like Hillary, everybody was at odds. Didn't nobody know Everybody was speaking that we don't know who to vote for. I was one of them. I was one of them. I'm not going to lie about it. I'm not going to sit here and lie and say I didn't. I really, I was one of them. But you know what? All of that is over now. Regardless to who you voted for, it is over. I've seen people in the streets protesting and with a whole lot of violence and different stuff because of the fact that Donald Trump won. They were saying that if everything was hacked by the Russians. I don't know none of that, people. I can't say, I can't say yay or nay about either one. You got 
those that loved Hillary, they wanted Hillary to win on the Democrats. We understand that. Then you got the Republicans that wanted that, that wanted wanted uh, Donald Trump to win. We understand that. But regardless to what people, we need to stop fighting amongst each other. But it's one thing Middle Man's going to say that is over now. So now, in this year, God bless the USA. From the last I checked, we still had freedom of speech. We had freedom of speech. God given rights, inalienable rights. I have a right, you have a right to, to speak what you feel is right within your own heart. You have that right. But let's make certain people that we are right. You know, the only thing, see, I love this country. I love this country. And God knows I want to see the best thing that goes that happen to this country. But people, you know as well as I do that this country for a long time has been sinking fast. We, we go against everything that is called right and good, everything that this country was founded upon. We got to the place where we didn't care nothing about life. We were killing babies with this abortion law that came in in 1973. I mean, took taking the prayer out of school, all the things in which this country was founded upon, according to what I've read. According to what I've read. What? You know, we got people, we don't, you got people that don't want to have anything to do with God, they want to take God out of the school system. They want to take God out of our country. But yet it's still on your money. It say in God we trust. Come on, people, please. Do we really trust God? If we trust God, if we trust God, why are we trying to take him out of everything? We put the took the Christ out of Christmas and put an X there. Everything we try to, you know what? As my freedom of speech, I'm going to say Christmas. And I stand before each and every one of you today, and I'm going to say, use your freedom of speech. This country still got that, last I checked. Now, when it comes to Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton, whichever one you voted for, that's your business. You don't have to tell anybody who you voted for. That's your business. That's what I love about this country, about certain things. But people, if you going to I've decided, that many man is going to stand for Jesus Christ, the one that died, according to my Bible. And if you pick up a Holy Bible, it's in yours too. Guess what? I cannot force my belief system on no one. As much as, as, much as I want everyone to know Christ for their own sake, guess what? I can't, I ain't nothing I can do about that. God gave everybody free will. You have a free will. You have a choice to choose whether you want to serve Christ or not. But as far as many men is concerned, I'm going to stand up and be a warrior for Christ. I find, I've, I've decided to do that. Come hell or high water. I'm going to stand for what's right. Now, you may not like me. That's your business. You may not like nothing about my Christ. And to say I'm perfect, Lord knows I wouldn't sit here and say that, people. I got a long way from perfection. A long way. You think? No. But I've decided that I was going to make Jesus my choice. Why? Because he first loved me. And so I'm going to stand up for what's right when it comes to Jesus. I'm going to speak for him. Whether I die or whether I live, I'm going to do all for his glory. Now, Guess what? I can't force that on no one. So, and I don't try to force that on no one. I pray that everyone would come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ, but I can't force it on no one. And so neither should we who have decided to follow Christ should be forced to try to be something that we are not. If you don't want nothing with God, if you don't want to have anything to do with God, that's your business. Don't make that be mine. Because it's not going to work with me the man. Like I said, if you haven't found something that you would die for, you're not worthy of living. And I have decided, not only would I be willing to die for Christ, but I'm willing to live for him too. People, Donald Trump is not even in office yet. And we got people that's going crazy. It would have been the same way as Hillary 
had one, we would have had the same thing going on on the other side. But we don't have to be that way, people. But one thing I see, as what many men see, we as a country, we need to go back to the Bible, back to Bible basics and Bible principles and uplift the name of Jesus Christ. You know what? Regardless of what, we know, according to that Bible, one day Jesus could return to this earth to take completely over. That's that's the that's the Christian belief. Now I know we got a lot of naysayers out there. How do you know that? No, I don't know it, but I'm gonna believe it. I choose to believe it. But it's one thing I'm gonna say. You take the choice is yours. I had a I had a sergeant, drill sergeant in the military day. His name was Drill Sergeant Thomas. He used to always tell us the choice is yours. In other words, now you look at it like this. What if there is no God? Well, then I don't have nothing, anything to lose. I live and tomorrow I die and that's it. But what is there is a God? You got everything to lose. Those of you that just choose and refuse to believe in God and will not accept because there is only one way to God. Uh-oh, here it comes. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate. Hate mail, that's all right. There's only one way to God and that's through the Son. He's told us that. That is what we believe. That is what every blood-bought Christian believes. There's only one way to the Father, and that's through the Son. Now, that's what Christianity, that's what basic Christianity is all about. We believe in the one whom God sent. That's the basic premise of the whole thing. So now you believe who you want, and you decided not to, to believe it and not to accept Jesus Christ, and then if he does come, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. So if you haven't found something that you're willing to die for, then you're not fit to live. Many man chooses to be a warrior for Christ. Come hell or high water. And what I've said tonight, or this morning early, it's about four, 15 minutes to five. What I've said, I spoke my heart. And I do believe that I spoke the heart of many, many other followers. That's all we are, followers of Christ. And But we need to stand up for what we believe in. And guess what? Many men going to stand for that. I'm not against you because you voted for Trump or Hillary. I, I could care less about that. Trump is not my king. Hillary is not my king. Jesus is my king. But, but, I, but, I'm, but, I, but I must live in this country. I am a United States citizen, point blank. And this is my country. This is, in regards to how long I stayed in the military, I'm, I still went in the military and fought for this country. I didn't stay long. Like I said, I had a hardship. I had a problem with alcohol. But still, this is my country. And I have freedom of speech as far as I as still know. So it ain't about Donald Trump. It's not about Hillary Clinton. It's about what's right, people. Our nation needs to get back to the right track. Because if we don't, God's going to judge us. And y'all, I don't want America to be judged like that. I don't want America to come down to Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh, no, I don't want that. I love this country. I love this country. And I pray for the government, the leaders of this country. Point blank. Whether it was Hillary or Donald Trump, it wouldn't matter with me. I was going to still pray the same prayer that we can get back to the status. And we were once a great nation, people. We still a great nation, but we in grave danger. This is my belief. We are in grave danger of getting the judgment of God if we don't change our attitude toward it. That's all I got. That's all I got. So please, ma'am, please, sir, it ain't about Hillary or Donald Trump with me the man. No, 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 no. Because neither one of them, neither one of them are my king. My king is Yeshua, Jesus, if y'all don't know the Hebrew language. But that's my king. And him I will follow. To the best of my ability. And I'm going to always stand as a warrior for Christ. If you can't stand for something, remember. If you, if you ever find anything that you're willing to die for, you're not fit to live. Remember. Middle man said it. Middle man is not mad at anyone. I'm not mad at no Hillary people. And I'm not mad at no Donald Trump people. Whatever, what was, what, what, what happened, happened. If the if they saying that the, that the Russian hacked the election, I don't know that. I'm not, and I'm not saying they didn't. I don't know it. I can only speak what I only know, and I know that I'm going to stand for Christ. 
point blank. And I hope the rest of every, all other Christians do the same thing. We need to stand for what's right. If we say we love God and we say we are Christian, we need to love what? Each other. And do, he even said we even supposed to love our enemies and pray for them that misuse them. So you see, it's a great call to be a warrior for Christ. So people, 2017, be a warrior for Christ. Stand, even if you have to stand by yourself. Never go along with wrongdoing just because it's unpopular. Never go along with wrongdoing because it's popular. You stay right, even if you have to stand by yourself. Some people going to hate you. Remember, Jesus even told them that, say, in this world, you're going to be the hated. But remember, they hated me first. Choice is yours. This is Midi Man, 2017 address, saying, God bless the United States. God bless this good old USA of America. Thank you. Goodbye.